franchise has been around for over 30 years, so some of the games in the franchise may not have aged as well as others. Whether that's in the graphics department, gameplay, or polish, you can't deny that even with some Sonic fan favorites, Father Time has not been too kind with some of these games. So today, I want to talk about some Sonic games that I think deserves a remake. With Sonic X Shadow Generations on the way, and all the discussion about remakes and remasters, I feel like it's the perfect time to have a good discussion about some games that deserve the remake treatment. And I'm not talking about any ports or remasters, strictly remakes a la Final Fantasy VII Remake or Resident Evil 4 Remake. Because one, I think remakes are way more interesting to talk about and come up with ideas for, and number two, I want to cover remasters in another video. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe and help out the channel because I would really appreciate it and it also helps the video reach other people. So let's not delay this any further. Let's start with the first one that I'm pretty sure most of you saw coming. one and two. I'ma throw them in a bundle like the Crash remix cause they're pretty similar gameplay wise. If we're talking about the most requested remix, these two for sure come out on top. I made a video a few weeks ago talking about how they could possibly be on the horizon and I do feel like these games need a remake. Listen, as much as I love Sonic Adventure 1, the graphics, the voice acting, especially the hey voice man. acting, I wonder what happened to Sonic! And just the overall polish of the game feels very outdated. And some gameplay styles like Big and Amy were not as fun as others in the original. Same with SA2, the graphics and overall polish are one of the big things that they need to improve on with these games. I don't think they have to change much about the story of the games. Maybe add some lore tidbits like finally making that hidden palace mural theory real or something. Just nothing too big, something small like that. But I think the biggest point of debate with these remakes are the voice actors. Should they get the original, or should they use the current voice cast? For one, I think they should use the current cast, cause a lot of the discourse only seems to revolve around Sonic, aka Ryan Drummond. And listen, Ryan Drummond would be cool, but what about everyone else? The voice of Tails, Corey Bringus, is now in his late 30s. He was a kid when this game came out, so I don't think he could pull that voice off anymore. Dean Bristow, the voice of Eggman, unfortunately isn't with us anymore. Michael McGarren is in his 60s and doesn't really work in the industry anymore and he hasn't for years. Besides Ryan, no one from the original is probably able or willing to reprise their roles. So if we only get Ryan back and kept the current cast, I just don't think that would work. It would kind of feel out of place. So I do think for the remake, they should just use the current cast. So yeah, Sonic Adventure remakes with current gen graphics, especially after seeing what Final Chase looks like in new gen graphics, would be amazing. And with the new gameplay fixes and polish, this could probably be one of the most popular Sonic games to ever release. Can't hold on much longer. One down. Now we got two to go. And I think this second one has a lot of potential. Up next, I think Sonic Heroes deserves a remake. I'm not as outspoken on my distaste for Sonic Heroes as I am for something like Sonic Because I feel like if Sonic Team wasn't literally almost worked to death, 
I feel like they could have made a really good game on their hands. And I've debated sh about should have been a remake or a remaster. I think it should be a remake because a lot of the issues with this game can't really be fixed with a remaster. Because I feel like the issue with this game, it's a death by a thousand paper cuts, right? It's a lot of little things that really ruin the game. So I feel like a proper remake is in order. First off, the controls need an overhaul. Jesus Christ. Please make them more akin to the adventure games so that's not a pain in the ass to play. Secondly, they have to change the different stories, man. I do not want to play the same 14 stages in each story, especially if some of these stages go on for like 6 or 7 minutes. Especially Team Chaotix, man. For the stages, I feel like a Sonic Adventure 1 style where certain characters go through certain stages would be better. Because one, you won't get tired of playing the same levels over and over. And secondly, if you are going to see a new level, it feels like a surprise because you haven't seen that one yet. Also, I mentioned Chaotix before. Chaotix! Oh my god, they gotta change up their style, bro. No one wants to look for 50 fucking crabs or whatever in the level because they're fucking microscopic, okay? I feel like they should either make the requirement less or not require all of them at all. And if you fail to collect all of them, you just get a lower rank or something. Like I said before, I think the situation of this game is death by a thousand paper cuts. So a remake can definitely refine the game and make it a really fun experience and actually make it something that could, you know, be one for the ages. I was created for the sole purpose of destroying you. But I can never seem to defeat you. That is why I transform my own body with my own hands. See me as I am. No longer afraid of anything. Heading on to the final game. I think this one's probably going to be the most divisive. <laughs> Sonic 06. Now listen, do I actually think this game will get a remake? No, not in a thousand years. Sonic Team is still scared to touch this game with a fucking 30 yard pole. But if Project 06 showed us anything, is that if this game was actually given time to cook, it could have been one of the best Sonic games ever made. So let's see how this game would get a remake. First, let's touch on that story, okay? Yeah, this story needs a change, bro. They need to give this game the Final Fantasy VII Remake treatment. They gotta change that story up, man. The base premise is neat. Like, you know, Sonic, you know, trying to stop, like, this evil time monster from destroying reality. But the actual plot and what goes on needs to fucking change, man. I think certain parts like Shadow Story can stay relatively the same. But if they want to make the story actually good, they're gonna have to fix and change a lot. And I mean a lot. They're gonna have to change basically the entirety of Sonic's story, parts of Silver's story, even parts of Shadow's story. And they, they're gonna have to get rid of, you, you know, what scene. Secondly, the gameplay itself. I think that if they made the gameplay like Project 06, then it would be perfect. Chaos X has fine-tuned the game's controls for every character and it proves to be extremely fun. The level design is also really good, and I'm talking about Base 06. Project 06 doesn't change anything, it's one of the game's strong suits. But since the game's controls were so bad, it didn't matter, so the level design could stay mostly the same. Now, what do we do with you? Now, the hubs in Sonic 06 are bland, uninteresting, and feel like padding. So, how do we deal with this in the remake? Well, what if I told you we already have the answer? Sonic Frontiers introduced us to the open zone formula. What if we combine the hub worlds into one open zone and completely change the game? Not only would it expand the game, but it would also provide a chance for the open hubs to you'll be expanded and reimagined. Like imagine if we saw Soliana fully realized in an open world, that would be insane. And also it would add some new fresh gameplay, we could see improvements to the open zone formula in the 06 gameplay style, which I think would be actually really fun. But the question still remains, why out of all games 
should Sonic Team remake this game? Because we know what this game is, right? We already have, first of all, we already have Project 06, which is basically doing that. Because imagine if they did, and they actually made it really, really good. That would send shockwaves through the entire internet, man. Sonic Team took one of their most notorious games, had the balls to remake it and make it good. If they remake this, Sonic Team could have a chance to rewrite history and turn one of the worst Sonic games ever made to possibly the best game in the series. And those are some Sonic games that I think deserve a remake. I feel like at least the adventure remakes are bound to happen, but I personally would love to see a Sonic 06 remake. And that's all I gotta say for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment down below what game that you think deserves a remake. Maybe it's a game that I didn't mention, maybe it's a game that I even think about, because, you know, it's fucking pointless. <laughs> I'm kidding, but... Um, yeah, man, this week has been insane, bro. We got the Sonic X Shadow Generations reveal, and we got a Sonic Movie 3 teaser with Liv and Oh my god, bro, I was bugging out when I- Bro, I woke up, and I saw that, and I started bugging out, bro. That- Ah, uh, bro. Oh, that was amazing, bro. I can't wait for that movie, man. But, yeah, that's literally all I gotta say for today. And once again, make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy the content, comment what you think, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.